Right, so you own a local business. Let's assume you own a plumber and you want a one-click solution that automates your SEO for you. So a button where if you click it, you rank higher. And thankfully, and thanks to AI, which I know oftentimes may seem like a buzzword, but thanks to this amazing technology, this is now possible. So I'm gonna show you how this AI agent can automate your local SEO. So what you do is you go to tryjournalist.com, click optimizer, click create a new optimizer, right? Name it your business. Let's just do plumbing company in Dallas. Let's go to the same example. And let me just choose here a plumber in Dallas. Let me just do this one, okay? And copy the URL right here, paste it in here, English American, let's just do max hundred pages, hit create. Now what the AI agent will do, and quick note here, this is an AI agent tailored for SEO. And what I mean by AI agent is something that, what it does is take a look at your site, scans your site, scans all the pages on your site, understands what you do, what you sell, who your customer is, what your brand name is, what your brand is about, your brand story. Essentially, it knows as much as you do as a business owner and founder, so it's as knowledgeable as you about the business as you are, if that makes sense, right? And then, based on all of the knowledge it collects about your business, right, by scanning your site, it does suggestions of things you need to change in your SEO and implement based on some smart reasoning. And then on top of that, it won't just give you the suggestions, you actually implement them for you and giving you the why on the back end. Let me break it down. So right now it's analyzing a few pages. So let me be back in a few seconds once it's done analyzing all the pages on my site. All right, and we're back just a few seconds later and it's already analyzed five full pages. Now, scrolling a bit down here, right? What you'll see here is five or six optimizations the AI does, right? It optimizes your page titles, your meta descriptions, if some pages are missing relevant keywords, the AI agent will sprinkle in those keywords onto the page in a way that makes sense. You can argue URLs, image alt text, so if some images are missing alt text, which if you try to sell, most likely you have a ton of images missing the alt text, even we do, right? And automatically sets up an internal linking structure on your site. I'll go over each one of these right now, but let me just cover this one right here real quick. Let's say you have a bunch of pages on your site, your home page, your blog page, your contacts page, right? The AI will read through all the pages and find the best way to connect them and to internal link them all in a way that makes sense. So it will build out your internal linking structure. Not just that, right? But it'll tell, it'll tell you the why. But before that, let me just go over the very first one, which is the page style. So what it's doing right here is telling you, hey, listen, this page right here on our site, let's just open our site right here. So if we go to our site, and to the page that it's telling us right here, okay? This page on our site. The current meta title is plumber in this place, CA, 24 hour emergency plumber, and then the brand name, okay? And it's suggesting we change the meta title to this. And then, not just a suggestion, it tells us the why. And we put this here but for a specific reason, because we didn't just want to tell you, hey, listen, change this for that. I don't agree with it. I think if you're relying on AI, right, it's important that you understand why is the AI suggesting I change it, okay? So before that, let me just go here and say and see, okay. It goes, it wants to change it from this to this. And the, the oh, sorry, it's still analyzing, that's why. So let me just go back to the page that we're doing. Okay, so it's suggesting we change it to expert plumbing services in Canyon County, CA, 24 hour emergency plumber, okay? And then it gives us the why, right? This title is more focused on the service offered expert plumbing and includes a location and availability 24 seven, which can improve click through rates and relevancy in search results. Because if you know, right, when you're looking for something on Google, right, let's just do again, Dallas plumber, it's not just about, right, it, your, your meta title should be, your meta title, your meta description should be optimized for SEO in the sense that it needs to be sprinkled, it needs to have your keyword sprinkled in there. But on top of that, it needs to be optimized for CTR, for click through rate. You could be ranking above me. Let's say I'm below right here, right? In theory, you'd get more clicks than me. But if my meta title and meta description are more engaging based on the search that I'm searching for, well, more people will click me. And eventually, if this happens enough, well, I'll switch places with you. So it's not just about the what's written here in terms of SEO. It's about the click-through rate. For example, a lot of people put their phone number, right, on the meta title. And also, in this case, they put it on a meta description. Now, if this happens, and a lot of times when people put them here, what we see is that customers don't even bother clicking. They just, okay, this is the number, I'm just gonna call up the number, right? So 
This could lower your CTR, but you could, of course, lower your traffic, but at the end of the day, it could make you more money, right? And this is, this is somewhat complex. There's a lot of stuff that comes into play here, but just know that when you're optimizing your meta tiles and descriptions, it's about SC optimizations, right, in terms of the keywords, but then also about the CTR, okay? So, again, it tells us to change it to this, right, based on, on this thing. And you can disagree with this. If you don't agree with it, okay, just archive it, right? Just, okay, I don't want this. And in the future, the AI will understand why you don't want this optimization and will only give you future optimizations based on things you want it to actually do. So the AI will learn with the things you apply and the things you don't apply. You will learn to understand better what optimizations you want to do. And again, it's just going down because it's still analyzing my pages, okay? And now if I want, I can just click here and apply them all. And what this will do is the AI will go through your site automatically, as it says here, right? and implement the changes live. So if you just go here and hit, hit apply, all these changes will be applied instantly to my site on the page titles. Same thing for meta descriptions, right? Same thing, instantly. Now, yes, you, you can do all this manually, right? But why would you and can just use AI to do it for you automatically, right? The AI will just go through and do these optimizations on autopilot. And again, you can go through all these and implement the ones you want or archive the ones you don't want to even implement, okay? So that's that's pretty, pretty cool, right? It automates the whole process for you and it tells you the why. Because oftentimes, as local businesses, we're not really sure what to do, what we shouldn't do. And the goal of this AI agent is to tell you, hey, listen, we think you should do this and here's why. And if you think it makes sense, well, then you do it. If not, just archive it, okay? Now, meta keywords, for example, right? Let's go over to this page right here, okay? And the AI is recommending we sprinkle in all these keywords into the page. And it tells us why. Hey, listen, these keywords are more targeted and relevant to the services providing, aligning with the user's search intent, big one, get a target search intent, and improve, improving the page visibility in search results. So the thing here is that this page, sorry, this is going on because it's still gathering pages. This page is for, a, it's basically a, a location page, okay? It's a plumbing service in this location page, okay? And now, the AI is saying, hey, listen, if this page is this location page providing this type of service in this location, well, you should be adding these keywords, right? You should be adding location, the service, immersion plumbing service, the actual service, right? Branded ones. Again, it tells you to add and sprinkling these keywords onto the page. Now, if you just go here and hit apply, what it will do is find clever ways to sprinkle in the keywords, maybe here, maybe here, right? To make sure that the page is more, quote unquote, SEO optimized, okay? So again, it goes out and tells you, hey, listen, we think you should add these keywords there. Now, you, you can disagree or you can agree with it. If you do agree, you just hit apply. What happens oftentimes is that people see um, things they weren't even aware of, right? They weren't even aware they were missing this type of stuff. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, then canonical URLs, this is to basically prevent uh, duplicate pages. It's pretty cool. But this is a bit more technical. I won't dive too into this right now. Image alt text, this is a big one, right? A lot of people miss alt text. And I'm surprised these guys have alt text on all the images. This is not common at all. Great job, right? But a lot of sites, and if you try your one, you're your here and, and try to see it, most likely you have a ton of images without alt text, which is a big no-no. And then internal links, right? The AI basically tells you, okay, here's how, I th how we think you should be doing your internal linking structure. So how maybe you should be linking location pages between each other, service pages between each other, right? So here, for example, let's go here, for example, for uh, this location page, okay? Or this page right here, right? It's again, the service in this location, okay? This is all done with programmatic SEO. By the way, I'll leave a link for our programmatic SEO course for free down below in the description. And so it's telling us, listen, hey, this page should link to this page with the anchor text, water damage restoration. Why? Well, extracted from the section on handling extensive water issues, let's see if we can find it here. Extensive handling, so can really find it here. Um, this anchor text emphasizes expertise in mitigating water damage. Linking it to the Sherwood or, or excuse me, <laughs> page helps direct users to additional details on emergency water cleanup restoration services. So again, you can agree with this or not. But if you agree with these, you just select the ones you think you agree with, right? And hit apply. Now, this is just so much faster than going into the site, going into the back end, going here, okay, let me just edit this, let me just add the anchor text right here, okay, let me just link to the other page, find the relevant pages. This takes so much time. Again, you're gonna be doing this regardless. You might as, might as well just use AI, which just saves you a ton of time for internal linking. And in a few weeks from now, we'll have schema markup, site speed, links, and a bunch more stuff here. Our goal here is basically to give you a tool to do SEO faster, right? AI isn't a magic tool, right? AI essentially just does 
what a human does way faster, right? And so if you can leverage an AI tool to do this for you, optimize your site's SEO for you, well, why wouldn't you? I'll give you another example. For example, if I go here to articles, and this tool allows you also to generate articles, but I won't dive deep into this. I just want to show you like why, why this, this could be valuable. So I just produce you here Audi. Let's say, for example, I have um, a, a place or a, a dealership where I sell cars, right? And I have a bunch of blog posts, or I have like content on my, on my site, right, that I've already published. What I can do here is like and edit the content with AI, right? And I can say, for example, mm, I think it's missing a couple links here. Just select the text and say, okay, add links. And the AI will automatically add external links to this, thing, this part right here, right? It'll go through the article, read through it, and find the best place to add links to, right? Let's say, for example, I don't really like this image. I'm just going to say, um, put it underwater. And the AI will take the concept, context excuse me, of the article as a whole, the image, and put the same car, same make, same model underwater. I don't know why you want to do this, but you can, right? There you go, boom, underwater. Let's say, for example, you think this is maybe a bit too short, and you think your customers would like a more explained version of this. Let's go here and say, mm, make it longer, right? There you go, and you can accept or decline. Now, again, you can do all this stuff manually, but why would you, you could just use AI that saves you a ton of time. You can use sprinkling keywords right here, Audi, you can just buy car, right? You can sprinkle in your keywords right here. You can even select multiple parts of the text. You can transform parts of the text into tables, into lists, right? Again, you can do all this manually, but why would you, and you could just use AI? to do this for you automatically. This is all done with AI, by the way. The images, the videos added, all they're all very relevant, all done with AI um, automatically. Again, my point here is to show the site optimizer or the AI agent, um, which in my opinion you should be using because it will save you a ton of time on your local SEO strategy. And we built this specifically for people that don't really have a lot of time. So if you, are, if you own a local business, right, you're worried about the day to day. So if we're trying to build this in, in a way that saves you the most amount of time and explains you why. I think this, again, I, I'm hammering it on, down on this and I'm repeating this, but I think the biggest thing here is explaining to you the why. Why we think you should change this for that. And you can either agree or disagree. And based on what you agree and implement and what you, when, based on what you disagree, the AI will learn based on you and your business and improve over time. So yeah, give it a go, try it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And if you want to get a paid subscription that gets, allows you to do a bunch more stuff like lead magnets, like, uh, for example, car financing calculators, plumbing services calculator, for example. If you're a plumber, you can add this to your site, right? It says people can interact with this, so you can add this widget to your site, your pages, homepage, service page, whatever. People can interact with it. And in this case, for example, they can, they can ask it, my total this blog, how much you could charge to fix it? Get quote, right? This is all on your site. And it just says, hey, listen, our plumbing company called Qualsius Plumbing charges this, right? And depending on the service clog, we usually fix it around one or two hours. So you can add this interactive features to your blog posts or to your, or your pages. And then you can even say, hey, call us. And just put, people put your, their email or their phone number. And you can change that button text, by the way. And then all the leads get added to this lead dashboard. You can then call people, OK? You can build lead magnets for anything you want, basically. And again, this is just on a paid subscription. You can build blog articles. You can do automatic blogging. So you do, the AI blog automatically produces articles and posts them to your site, all then automatically for you, syndicates to social media, and a bunch more stuff. And if you do want to grab a paid subscription, before you do, go here, this exclamation point, a question mark, excuse me, and ask the guys for a coupon code. The guys will hook you up with a coupon code. Either way, if you don't get a paid subscription, try the site optimizer. I'm sure you'll find some nice ways to optimize your current local SEO. Give it a go, try it out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.